Hey there, YouTubers! Welcome to Interactive White Box, and I'm here with my next episode on the Unity top-down engine level that I'm building. And last time that we were working on this, we were working on these platforms moving around and and uh, getting these to to work a little bit more better than I originally thought. Um, so we kind of cleaned that up. Uh, we don't have a bunch of shapes you know, flying through the level. So that's really looking good. So kind of what I wanted to start doing is uh, I wanted to look into adding doorways. <coughs> and as you can see here, I've added a few game objects. So I have a door right here. And this door has a door script that uses an animator here. And the animator that I, I have uh, has two different states. There's a closed and an open state. And these states use a, there's a closed animation which just keeps the, the door where it is. But there's also a open animation. And as you can see here, I have it sliding down into the ground and I, I like that. I didn't want to have the door going up because I don't want to add any shapes um, going. I don't want to add anything that is gonna uh, have me build up more than I have to. So that's kind of what we, we have going right now. And then with the script, um, you can see that I have a Unity events We have Unity events set um, because I have a I have a, a check. So this can use trigger is a simple check that I have set on the door, where when this is checked, um, basically what happens is the box collider that's surrounding the door it will open, and then when we go through it, it will close. So we can have just an open doorway that we might set for like the the entrance here um but you see that there's this little box here and what that little box is is i created a button so when we set um when we set this door button to um open a, a specific doorway <coughs> um we can actually set the um, can use trigger to off so what that does is when we play it again, um, you'll notice that the door, when we go up to it, it actually won't open. And this is kind of what I want to do for that area with the, the moving platforms. And then when we go over here, there's not a note, but I might add a note. But if I press the Q button, um, and it might be a bit bugged right now, but if we press the Q button, um, we'll open the door. And then when we walk through it, it will close the door again, and then we won't be able to walk through it. So in order to like open the door, we'd have to move back around. I don't know why it, it sh yeah, you kind of have to fiddle with it. I might have to go and, and refine the code, but for the most part, that's working as intended. <coughs> so I just have a simple open and door, uh, open and closed door um, function right here that will open and and play the animation, and then I'll have a, a boolean set to true if the door is open, and then it's gonna invoke these uh, two on door close and on door open uh, triggers which is going to be in the door button. So if we see, uh, I've referenced the door in the door button, and then we have a bool to check if the player is nearby in the box collider here. And then when we have that, um, the update will play. Uh, so we set the queue, uh, the queue, key to be the one that opens the door. I was going to put it to E 
and I might go back and, and change that later, but um, E right now, when I press E, it, it fires the weapon. So that's me pressing the, the E key. So I just set it on to Q. Uh, Q didn't, didn't do anything as far as I could tell. So oh, we just have that. And then <coughs> when we hit the collider for the object, it checks if we are nearby. And then if we exit the collider, it checks that we're false. So we want to make sure that we are in the, um, we're in the, you know, area of the box collider, uh, because we don't want to hit Q and, um, you know, anywhere and have all of the doors open. So we want to make sure that's set. And then we have these, uh, change to open material and change to default material. So for the button itself, I wanted to have some sort of feedback and, uh, I created, I have an, uh, like a old enemy, um, material that I was using here, but I just decided to set that for the default color. And then we have this green here. Um, it doesn't look, uh, it, it looks kind of like that in the game, but <coughs> I, I wanted it to look a, a little bit different. So we have that set. So yeah, it's kind of some, uh, a quick kind of look at how we can just use basic, um, you know, code to create something that is going to change the way that we, you know, go about, uh, playing our levels. So with that in mind, um, what I want to do is I want to set this up, uh, specifically for, uh, this area. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to move this wall somewhere more back here. All I might even do is I might even, um, I might set this because I want to kind of make this very, uh, Actually, I'm not going to do that. What I'd rather do is I'm going to create a new shape with Pro Builder here. I'll just make this a I'm going to start out with that for right now. I'm going to move this up. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create somewhat pretty big high walls. I'm just going to move that there. I'm going to create another shape and I'm going to have that be roughly the same size. And I want to really close this up. So I'm going to check the face button right there and I'm going to clean this up quite a bit. And I actually might match this with the height of this right here. And really just match 
what we can on this. <coughs> okay, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to move this doorway and we're just gonna keep it where it's at um, since it goes down to a specific size and we're just gonna fit that doorway in here I think that looks pretty good we'll just place that in the middle and I'm gonna take a new shape and I'm going to just add a little bit of a top to this So I'm going to deselect a new shape and then I'm going to go in and I'm just going to kind of change this. It may look a bit kind of weird with the, um, with all that, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of I'm not going to make it so I'm, I'm going to kind of keep it a bit simple. <coughs> and then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually take these three little shapes and actually I'm going to just do that. And then I'm going to duplicate these. I'm going to use these in several different, um, areas I'm, I'm thinking so one of the th one of the places I want to use this at is I want to place that kind of above here kind of make a nice little um, design there and I'm just gonna select faces and I'm just gonna select all of these and I'm just gonna move these down And then I'm going to move these also all the way down here. <coughs> Just add that. And then what I want to do as well is I'm going to add this. Again, I'm going to hit the object. I'm just going to duplicate this and then I'm going to um, slide that over to kind of these positions here. Might, I think that looks pretty good. Um, I actually, I'm going to take this slide that over and I'm going to take these little pillars right here go into face mode I'm gonna select all of them there we go I accidentally hit um, I think it was like E or R to change the rotation um, I don't want to do that I want to move these okay so I have that so <coughs> what I might do now is I might hit this duplicate and I'm just gonna spin these around actually hold on why is that Hmm. Interesting. Well. OK. 
count those. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this kind of um, separately. So I'll just move that. I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna duplicate them. spot um, I'm so used to like uh, snapping things like an unreal engine we're just gonna we're gonna place that there and then we're just gonna take these and then we're going to um, just move them over and do that And we're going to also take these and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to duplicate them, uh, but we're going to move these all the way over here. Yeah, and like the, you can tell that the origin point is kind of really off on these. So we have to kind of be careful. Um, I'm not going to worry too much about them now because these are very, um, yeah, they're, they're not too bad, but, and actually I'm going to, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we want to kind of keep this kind of the, well, it's kind of off kilter there but we can kind of look at kind of look at this i've got one two three four five six seven eight so that's going to be probably where we want to keep um keep the, the things here and we can kind of see that um the bottom one down here kind of matches with with that so we're not um we're not totally off base here with getting this where we want it. <coughs> I'm just gonna kinda keep repeating this. Again, make sure that you're on the object. And we're just gonna duplicate this and just keep kinda going down. Until we hit kind of a the end. I think that's fine. And that way we're not having to, this is going to be closed off anyway, so <coughs> we don't necessarily have to worry about that. Uh, with this though, I want to kind of make this, um, I think that's fine. And then, um, another thing that I want to do now is I want to add this button to the top here so I'm going to go ahead and move this over and I'm gonna just match the bottom of this um, match the bottom of this uh, box collider to the ground here 
and just kind of set it in the middle. And then what we could do as well um, is we can kind of just add a little post or something here. Just something that will, um, you know, make it make sense, I guess. <coughs> but that way, um, hopefully this way, you know, if you're playing the game, you can kind of go up to the door. Um, and if it's not opening, um, we might even select these and then have it kind of just appear right there. And we can always play through this. Um, actually, let's do that. Um, actually, before we do that, though, I want to create another door. So um, we're just going to do that. Oh, you see that um, we moved the door, but we actually didn't. We moved the mesh and not the actual door object itself. So. Um, what I might do is move this back over here and just match where we had it. I might even um, move this over a little bit too. And again, you can always kind of use these uh, guidelines, which is a really nice, uh, kind of nice with uh, this, um, top-down engine I think this I think this floor is a top-down engine thing I don't think that we use this from um, pro builder but yeah I, I love this I love this uh, this floor texture <coughs> but now with that um, let's actually move the door object itself and not just the um, the door mesh So we want to put that in place again, kind of just line that up. And since we're not really using the uh, collider anyway, um, we don't have to readjust for the, um, we don't have to readjust for that, but I am going to copy this and then um, again, this door button should only be looking at that door. So this is going to be a whole entire door. I make sure that making sure that I select the door object itself. Um, and we will just place these over here. And duplicate. Cool. So I'm going to get, go ahead and, and save that and then I will play and test and see how this works. So I have these doors are going to open and close. Such a, a nice, um, such a nice thing to, to add in the game. It, it kind of adds. It really adds some life to the, the level, I think. <coughs> Might have to put a... Um, Hopefully this will Okay. We get it. Um what I might actually add to help with that is we have this kind of secret area right here and we have this um stim pack that is gonna heal our character, but I might actually duplicate that 
And we have kind of this unused area uh, up here that um, I think would be kind of a nice uh, place to put in uh, a health pack. <coughs> so again, I, I'm not entirely sure if this is going to be like seeable, but hopefully uh, this kind of rewards people from uh, rewards people uh, with trying to, you know, see what's in here. Um, just because I'm OCD and I like perfection, I'm also going to add some height hype to this. Um, uh, kind of. Looks much better. Okay, so hopefully now um, we can actually get through to the door. <coughs> We got that, we got our ammo and our dash, and then the dash will actually be F. Are we gonna actually probably circumvent that guy? I was thinking about closing this area up, but I, I might not. heal ourselves we dash oh we fell anyway but that's fine okay so we are here in this uh, section um, we can always jump back through that but <coughs> You see that this door we can't get through, but there is a button up there. So you can see that there's kind of this challenge here for platforming. And you see that, you know, we can get up through there. You jump on that. We'll have to wait for this box to, to come around, but we should be able to jump on on this box here and hopefully um, hopefully uh, we won't have any major issues with um, walking on this yeah you see that there's kind of this weird glitch thing going on but open the door oh we might have to do that again And now we can walk through it and it closes and we can't get back through now another thing that we might need to add is um, if we want add in another way to get back up to here um, but I think uh, what we're gonna have to do is um well actually what we could do is if we really want to add in another way to get back up here because i'm i'm a huge um i'm very huge on giving players the option to go back to like a previous area but i like to do it in a way where you can't access the future area so what we could actually do is taking a look at these uh platform uh, areas again um, we could actually add in another platform so with this um, we could actually duplicate this and then if we move this I don't know why the, um, I don't really know why the, I don't 
really know why all this is kind of weird, but... <coughs> what we have here, though, is we have several points. So we have um, this platform right here, and then we have uh, point one, and then it goes to two, and then it goes to three, and then it goes to four. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete platform one and four. Um, I might have to, um, actually, I'm going to have to, yeah, move those. And then with these, I'm going to, I'm going to have one come here and then two, uh, I am going to move over to here again and then we can kind of just take a look and see. So uh, I'm going to just change this to three and I'm going to move this whole thing though. And actually what I might do is um, I'm going to move this entire thing over here just so I can kind of keep, <coughs> excuse me. I can kind of keep, um, where I need it to be and actually uh, yeah I'm just gonna take all of these I'm gonna move it right here I'm just gonna place that like that I'm going to move this, uh, this moving platform. I'm going to be a little bit more wider, just a little bit. And then with that, I'm going to move this up to here. And if I look at my moving platforms, um, you can see that <coughs> you only need two. Um, it's just a loop back to the start. And then uh, I'm just going to have platforming one and then platforming two. And then hopefully with that, what we will have is um, actually, let me go to game. Let me go to play focused, just so I can uh, select scene again. And then we can just kind of take a look and, and make sure that we have this. So you see that um, it is kind of over a little bit. So what we will do is we'll go and then we will actually, um, cause that, that's where it like lines up. So I'm at, I'm just going to move this over and then this whole thing, we will just go ahead and fill up it up like that. And that is going to do what we want it to. <coughs> so you can see that we have this going now. Um, we might slow this down quite a bit. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move this to move speed of, I'm guessing we'd want it to be slower. So uh, we might do 0.5. And we'll just uh, keep checking this, making sure that it looks good. Um, that might be a bit slow, so I'm going to change that to one. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna play and I'm gonna check it again. Okay, so I think that looks much better. Um, again, I just want something where um, 
the player is gonna be able to um, just run back into here and be able to drop back into this area. But if the player is in this area, excuse me, if the player is back in this area, I don't want them to be able to um, just drop into this room. So they won't be able to like, I don't, I might have to test this though, just to, to make sure it doesn't do it. So actually, let me let me do that. I'm gonna play maximized, and then um, I'm just gonna test to see if I can jump over. I don't think I can, but we can test it and, and find out. I'm gonna go ahead and dash over. Okay, so yeah, we can definitely jump over this. So what that tells me is we might need to add, hmm, we might need to just raise this up actually, is what I'm thinking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, <coughs> And I'm just going to raise this up quite a bit. And it's probably going to look a bit weird. So what I might actually do is raise both of these up. And then um, with that in mind, I'm going to take this. Go to platform point two, and I'm gonna raise this up. So there should be um, enough clearance to get over that, but we won't be able to jump over this. So we'll go ahead and, and test that again, <coughs> just to make sure that we did it correctly. Go ahead and um, got that guy. Go ahead and Whew. see now we can't jump over. That is I'm trying to dash. We can't do. We can't do that. But we should be able to access this area if we want to go back. So that's uh, especially the type of thing that I want for this. We'll go down here. I got this going. See, we can't go through, and we might color code this door to be something other than white. I might uh, color it yellow or something. But we will go ahead and get that. We're just going to have to wait. We got that closed. 
So now we're kind of in this new area. We could open this up. Um, but if we want to go back into this area, we can simply go over the edge. All right. So um, now that we have that figured out, um, what we can do is we can add some stuff to this area. And what I'm thinking about doing is placing another uh, another guy over over here. So um, I'm gonna just copy this dude. And I'm going to duplicate. And I'm gonna move him. <coughs> I'm gonna move them over here. And of course we will probably have to um, change a, a few of these things, but that's fine with me. So um, if we go down to the MM path here, we can see all of the different little um, elements that we have. So um, you see that we have um, all of these kind of lining up in a way. So we have zero here and then um, one is all the way over here. So we are going to have to uh, bring that down so um, we can maybe take it to point negative nine point five. I think it's good <coughs> and then we can see that um, point two is also probably gonna need to move back over here as well so point five for that um, but what I do like is um, three um, well I don't know if I want it I don't know. I might actually get rid of um, five. So actually what I'm gonna do is, um, actually, I don't know. Let's put a, a bit of ran randomness to this. Or not randomness, but have them kind of go around in a different way. So like five, is this number so I'm gonna just point this at uh, point um, this is zero zero and then one uh, zeros at zero so with this we'll just have that be at zeros two so we can have them go one two three four and then five. So let's have this be 0.8 and then have four be zero. So we can have them go one, two, three, four, five, and then have five go out to point, um, wait, one and two. Yeah, have, a, have a, it go to point 0.5 there. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're probably going to move 2 and 3 back a bit. Kind of more in the middle. So I think that's kind of good. So 12 point... 12.5 possibly we'll do uh, 12.5 so we'll do the same thing with that <coughs> and we'll add in another point here and with this um, we will move this Uh, 
12.5. We'll add in another one and have that be the same as three. So we'll have 0 0.5 and like that. So what this should look like now is we should have this guy going from point one to point two to point three to point four, point five, point six, point seven. So you should be kind of doing a constant like figure eight thing going right there, which I kind of like. And then I think what we're going to do with this is we're going to add in some shapes. Um, just something that I think will uh, kind of be interesting. So we got these shapes here. So I'm going to just duplicate these. I'm going to put these to um, each corner. And we might have to adjust these. Maybe not. <coughs> and actually, what I might do is get rid of those. Take these. And just bring them up here. And this, um, we might actually move this um, up here. So if we look at this moving platform, um, you see that's cutting into what we have. So I'm just going to level this out. Um, I'm just going to make that kind of a lot more like that. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new shape. Whoa. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of do what I wanted to do, uh, in that like first room with these pillars, I'm going to add in some, uh, I'm going to add in just some um, small little walls here. And what would even be cool and, and something that I can look into for later is replacing these with maybe some like glass or something. So if the player uh, is seen, uh, this guy will be able to like shoot through glass or you can shoot through glass. <coughs> I'm sure I'd have to go in and like manipulate and do something different with like the uh, AI, but that could be something I could I could look into. So we have this going, so um, I could go ahead and duplicate that and add in that, and then also uh, if we add in yet another new shape, um, we can do something very similar to the. Um, We can do something similar to these sides as well. That's just, I don't know, I adding something a little bit more different as far as uh, like geometry goes. Um, you know, we can duplicate this. And we can even, um, Probably just move these up if we want to have kind of more of a more bigger area here. And we can select these two sides here and push them in. And what we could do is we could add in yet another. Um, stim pack thing <laughs> I 
<laughs> and actually, we might even lower this wall. Let me just see if that, you know, does anything. Might not hurt. Okay. I don't, I, I kind of want to change, I kind of want to uh, better adjust these points too. Um, so let me take a look at that real fast. So I want to say, We might move these over to that. So um, let me just copy these and just better adjust this to be more in the middle. Um, I might even move these down a little bit. Actually, let me move both of those at the same time. I just want to give. I just want to give like the enemies enough space to walk through here and not worry about getting like stuck on a wall or something dumb like that. So I'm going to go back into here, go back down to the waypoints and then where it says X, um, I might make that 0.5. <laughs> okay so that's a little bit more in the middle i think that looks pretty good um i wonder if there's anything else we can do i i don't really know if i want to place a, a an enemy guy right up here i think um you know this is going to be good enough for this room. Um, we might put in another enemy in this room though, but we might do that next episode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm I think I'm going to just play through this one more time before we end the episode here. But uh, let me go ahead and just make sure we have that. And I'll go ahead and, and play. So we have these doors. Uh, pretty much working the way that we want them to. <coughs> so we got that. Almost dead so we will pick this up of course we can't we can't jump over this wall I wanted to block access to this bottom area here but we can always go down here uh, that guy is coming so we will stun right now and we could actually he won't be able to get up here so let that guy go around for now. Or wait, where did he go? Oh, he's down there. We'll let him pass. And now we're down here. We got another guy. Let him pass there. Okay, 
Okay, so um, something is up, and I think what we might need <coughs> is um, a mesh collider, I'm guessing. So let me uh, take a look at this and see what is causing this. Because, like, these walls here... Mesh Collider, da, 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 da. That's interesting. Mesh Collider. From Pro Builder. I'm trying to figure out why he was able to like shoot through those. Or why he was like seeing me. We will, um, we'll play again. I might have to do a little bit more looking into that before next episode, but hopefully we can kind of get it working properly. <coughs> but most of this like pro builder geometry is pretty good about, you know, them not seeing us if we use it as cover. And we can use it as cover, so I don't really know why it's working, behaving that way, but we will, um, we'll go over this gap here. See, this guy's not seen us. We'll just go around him. Yeah, it's so weird. I, I don't really know why this geometry... I don't know. I'll have to look into that, because that's very peculiar. I might have to go and kill this guy, though. And he's able to... Yeah, we'll have to look and, and see what the issue is with that, but we got we got some health. Um, you know, the store's not opening up, so we're going to have to open that. I wonder if I have to put a, another, like, collider on it. I'm not entirely sure, but... I could have jumped on that, but I'll just double hit it. So now we are going through here, and now we can't get through. So if we want to go back up to here, this is where we're going to continue the level next episode. But if we want to go back, we're going to have to jump on that. And again, it's kind of slow. Um, it's just kind of like a, if you miss anything back here, or if we added like collectibles or something, um, you could access this area again. Um, and you could probably use this to like glitch or get into some interesting areas. Uh, another area that I just want to test again to make sure that we uh, can do is this area back here. This is a kind of a side area. We're going to have to kind of figure out where we want this uh, area to lead us because we have this like little area down here that is going to be totally open for us. So we might need to pay attention and, and do something with that. Um, and again, um, what we could do now that we have that door, though, is uh, we could actually place 
a door here and then have that button uh, come in, uh, be in here as well. So we could actually have the player come into here if they want to jump the fence, um, the broken fence here, or are we going to have this door now open up and then come back into this area. So we could definitely do uh, different things. Um, <coughs> we could also um, we could also just entirely close this out, and then we could have just some boxes here where they um, have to climb back onto here, and then we could just kind of have this be just a closed out area. So we could do different things for this area. Um, but I think with that, um, we'll uh, end the episode. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. And for my next videos, um, you know, feel free to subscribe. I believe next week um, I will be working on my uh, cyberpunk uh, level um, within Unreal. So um, if you are looking forward to that, uh, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.